Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to have some fun with more makeup samples and minis that I have acquired. Um, some of these were sent to me in orders as gifts with purchase. I have used points and some of them I have just bought mini little sets and just wanted to see if I could create a look with just those. I have done this before and I really enjoyed that video. I had fun and I just wanted to have fun today. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is apply the Charlotte's Magic Cream and the Charlotte's Magic Serum uh, Crystal Elixir that came in this set. I used Sephora points to get this, I think, or a gift for purchase, not 100%. But just to start with skincare and how that's kind of set into my skin, I guess. Okay, so that is the cream. It has a perfume-ish kind of smell. Um, it does feel very moisturizing. I don't know if my skin will love that or not, but we'll find out. Next, I'm gonna use the Magic Serum. This one has more herbal scent to it, which I don't mind. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of let that settle in while I do my eyes for today. So I'm going to use bronzer as an eyeshadow. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer Mini um, in bronzer. I was sent this as a sample a long time ago and i finally hit a little pan on it so yay so i'm going to use that as an eyeshadow for my eyeshadow primer i'm going to use the milani eyeshadow primer in 01 nude this was sent as a gift with purchase in an order so I figure that should count. And I do think this is a really lovely eyeshadow primer. So I'm just gonna grab a more fluffy brush to grease. To blend that out, I'm just going to use the little mini Makeup Revolution Translucent Baking Powder, Setting Powder. This was in the little calendar from last Christmas. Because I wanted to just use minis or samples, and I didn't really have many. So today I'm going to use the Lorac Eyeshadow Single in Quartz. This was a gift with purchase and I've been using this single shade for a while in different looks and I've really loved it. 
I kind of felt it would go well with the look I have in mind for the rest of the makeup as well as just I was wearing orange and I thought a warm toned nude look would be pretty very summer like okay so that is the eye look I'm gonna just repeat that on the other eye and I will be back okay so that is the eyes done I really love how this eyeshadow just sparkles I have been using it quite frequently so now I'm gonna start with my face and I'm gonna prime my face with the Smashbox the original photo finish smooth and blur primer Okay. I do think that that blurs slightly. So for my foundation today, I'm going to use the Liz Watier Color Corrector Multi Perfecting Moisturizer CC Cream. This has SPF 25 and is in the shade Neutral. I like the dark blue I note. That doesn't offer a lot of coverage but i do think that it is nice as like a tinted moisturizer kind of idea i'm just going to use some concealer to hide anything i don't want to be seen i'm going to use the tarte shape tape creamy ultra creamy concealer in 16n Fair light neutral. I don't know if there'll be anything left of this, but it is the only mini or smaller size of concealer I have. So I may have to use a full size on this and find it. Okay. Okay, so I picked up this Rare Beauty Blush and Glow four piece mini set. I'm going to use the Dewy Liquid Blush in Virtue today. So from that set, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer in Magnetize for my highlight today. Patting that in with my finger because that is kind of how I like to use and apply a liquid highlighter 
for my skin and I don't really like to apply it after powder. So I'm going to powder my face with the Makeup Revolution Translucent Baking Powder Setting Powder Mini So, as my bronzer, which I just broke, is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer Mini. I think this may be possibly the last time I will get to use this. I will try to repress it, but it might be the end of it. I don't know. If I hadn't dropped it, it would be alright, but... My klutziness always comes along. So for my brows today, I'm going to use the Beauty Bay Brush Up Brows Brow Soap. It's just a clear... I sent this for free with an order from Beauty Bay, so I'm just gonna use that. For my brows, it doesn't really fill them in much. They're normal sparse, but that's okay. All right, that's the brows for the day. They're a little more natural, but that's okay. This is the Beauty Bay Liquid Eyeliner in Domino. This was also sent for free. Okay, so I'm just going to do the other eye, and I'll be back. Okay, so that's the liner for today. I'm going to also line my waterline with the Essence Stay and Play Gel Eyeliner in 03 Silky Nude. This isn't a mini or sample, but I don't have many eyeliner samples sent to me. Or offered in a lot of products, so I'm gonna go with what we have on this. Okay, it definitely makes me look a little more awake. As for the eyes, I'm gonna use the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Clean Mascara. I'm not sure what color this is in, but that is what the brush looks like. Okay, just gonna let that dry and I will apply one more coat. So we are waiting. I'm going to apply the MAC Winter's Kiss Mini Lip Duo. This is in red. Um, this is uh, a retro matte lipstick. I'm not probably going to use the gloss today. This is in the shade 707 Ruby Woo. And that is what the shade looks like. I don't have a mini lip liner. I'm just going to apply this the way it is. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna fix that up a little and I'll be back. Okay, so that is that lip color fixed up. I'm just gonna apply another coat of the mascara. Okay, so this is the finished look of me using some more samples and mini makeup items and skincare items that I have gathered and created a look. I actually think this is really beautiful. It's perfect, I think, for summer. I like that the the BB cream feels very light. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, the bright red lipstick, I feel, is just really fun and perfect for a summery kind of day like today. And it does kind of work with what I am wearing and kind of just that vibrant summer mood I think I've been in. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you had fun. I thank you so much for watching.